and get your rest. You must be exhausted from playing with your brothers all night. Good night, Mother. Good night, Wendy. Good night, Father. Good night, Wendy. All this has happened before, and it will all happen again. This is the home of the Darling family, and Peter Pan chose this particular house because there are people here who believed in him. Tinkerbell. Tink. Tinkerbell. Tink. Where are you? Do you know where they play? Which big box? This one? Oh, which drawer? Crying. What is your name? Wendy Moira Angela Darling. What is yours? Peter Pan. Is that all? Yes. Yes. I'm so sorry. It, it, it doesn't matter. Where do you live? The second star on the right, straight on till morning. Oh, <laughs> what a funny address. No, it isn't. Is that what they put in the letters? Don't get any letters. Well, your mother gets letters. Don't have a mother. Oh, Peter, no wonder you were crying. No, I, I wasn't crying because I don't have a mother. I was crying because I couldn't get my shadow to stick on. Anyway, I, I wasn't crying. It has come off. How awful. Peter, you've been trying to stick it on with soap. Well, then? It has to be sewn on. What's sewn? You're dreadfully ignorant. No, no, I'm not. I will sew it on for you, my little man. Sit still. I dare say, it will hurt a little. I never cry. Ah! Mm. Ah, ah, ah. Mm. All done. 
it isn't quite itself yet. Hmm. Perhaps I should have ironed it. Perhaps it's dead. I think we need a little more light. <gasps> Wendy! Wendy! Oh, the cleverness of me! Of course, I did nothing. Well, you, you did a little. A little? Well, if I'm no use, at least I can withdraw. Well, Wendy, Wendy, no, don't withdraw. Wendy, one girl is worth more than 20 boys. You really think so, Peter? Yes, yes, I do. I think that's perfectly sweet of you. I shall get up again. Peter, I shall give you a kiss if you'd like. Thank you. Don't you know what a kiss is? I will as soon as you give me it. Now shall I give you a kiss? If you please. Thank you. I shall wear it on this chain round my neck. Peter, how old are you? I, I don't know. Quite young, Wendy. I ran away the day I was born. Ran away? Why? Because I heard father and mother talking of what I was to be when I became a man. Wendy, I, I always wanted to be young and have fun. So I ran away to Kensington Garden, lived a long time among the fairies. Peter! You know fairies? Yes, yes. But they're nearly all dead now. See, when, when the first baby was born, and it laughed for the first time, that laugh broke into a thousand pieces, and they all went skipping about, and that was the beginning of fairies. So now, when every new baby's born, its first laugh becomes a fairy. So there ought to be a fairy for every boy and girl. Ought to be, isn't there? Children know so much now, soon they don't believe in fairies. And every time a child says, I don't believe in fairies, a fairy somewhere drops dead, they just crumble up. Oh, the poor things. I can't think of where she's gone. Tinkerbell, Tink, where are you? Peter, you told me to say there's a fairy in this room. She came in with me. You don't hear anything, do you? I hear, the only thing I hear is like a tinkle of bells. That's fairy language, I hear it too. It seems to be coming from that drawer. Wendy, <laughs> I do believe I shut her in the drawer. What, well, you needn't say that. Well, I'm very sorry. Well, how was I supposed to know I left you in the drawer? Oh, if only she would stand still oh, when you see her. I hardly ever do. I see her, the lovely. Where is she gone? Behind the lamp. Tick, this lady wishes you to be her fairy. What does she say? She's not very polite. She said you are a great ugly girl and she is my fairy. Tink, you know you can't be my fairy because I'm a gentleman and you are a lady. What did she say? She said, you silly ass. She's quite a common girl. Her name's Tinkerbell because she mends the fairy pots and kettles. Where do you live now? Oh, with the Lost Boys. Who are they? They're the, the children who fall out, out of their prams when the nurse is looking the other way. If they're not claimed in seven days, they get sent away to Neverland. I'm the captain. Oh, what fun it must be. <sighs> yes, we are rather lonely. You see, Wendy, we have no female companionship. Are none of the other children girls? <laughs> no, no. Girls are far too clever to fall out of their prams. Oh, Peter, it's perfectly lovely the way you talk about girls. What is that? That's a music box. I'll show you. How oh, isn't it wonderful? I could dance to it all night. What's dance? Oh, Peter, must I teach you everything?
Peter, you may give me a kiss if you'd like. <laughs> I thought you wanted back. I didn't mean a kiss. I meant a thimble. What's a thimble? It's like this. Shall I give you a thimble? If you please. Ow! What is it? It was as if something was pulling my hair. Must be Tink. I've never known her to be so naughty before. What does she say? She says she'll do that every time I try to give you a thimble. But why? Why, Tink? She said you silly ass again. She's very impertinent. Peter, why did you come into our nursery window? Well, to, to hear the stories. None of us know any stories. How perfectly awful. <laughs> That's why swallows build in the eaves of houses. To listen to the stories. Wendy, your brother was telling such a lovely story. Which story was it? What about the prince and where he was trying to find the lady with the glass slipper? Peter, that was Cinderella. He found her and they lived happily ever after. I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. Peter, where are you going? To tell the other boys. Oh, Peter, don't go. I know lots of stories. Uh, stories I can tell the other boys. Then come with me. I'll fly. Fly? You can fly? Yes. Oh, I mustn't. Think of mother. Oh, you shall, you shall. Let go of me, Peter Pan. Besides, I can't fly. I can teach you. But I won't go away with you. You won't be able to help it. Then I won't learn. Then I'll teach you to jump on the wind's back, and away we go. They flee you for miles and miles, but you only stand soft on another. Oh, when you go, you go crashing through trees, scaring the owls, and when you meet a kid's kite in the sky, you shove your foot right through it. Oh, the stars are having a party tonight. Wendy, when you're sleeping here in your silly bed, you'd be playing hide and seek with me with the stars. And Wendy, they're mermaids. Mermaids? With tails? Such long tails. Oh, to see a mermaid. <laughs> You could tuck us in at night. Oh. I mean, none of us have been tucked in at night. Oh. And make us pockets. None of us have pockets. Wendy, oh, we shall respect you. Of course, it's all awfully fascinating. What is all this about? The children. I'll get to the bottom of this. Forget them, Wendy. Forget them all. Come with me and you'll never have to worry about growing up things again. Never sounds like an awfully long time. Why are you crying? 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 Why are you crying?